What's going on? This is Shane, Savage AF, brought to you by the World Famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. This was, we watched the debate, waiting for all y'all to jump on. We waited for the debate to be over for us to talk about the shit going on. That was some other shit. That automatron. Woo! So I'm waiting for Black Pedro to get on here. We're going to talk about the shit. That was crazy. That the shit that we know that he lied about, he just kept saying it with that trying to be sincere, fucked up. I'm, you know, I'm a private dancer face. What the fuck was that? What up? That debate was, uh, so that was some bullshit right there. That was a bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. So waiting for uh, Pedro to jump on. Man, that was some shit that he, he just sat there. They asked him about abortion. The motherfucker talked about everything else but it. Oh, oh shit. Y'all still behind? Well, I'm telling you, we wait for Black Pedro to jump on. Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Lab Factory. Power by, powered by Dash. Not powered by Dash Radio. Fuck that. Powered by us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dash. The, yes, but this was interesting. So we're going to talk about it tonight. We're going to get into it. Get involved. <laughs> get involved. It was it was a trip. It was a trip listening to this automatron up there. Like, oh, there he is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, man, you scared me. What? what are you doing? Man, that was so bullshit. But he's an automatron liar. Just And when you look at, you think a sincere face makes a lie? Not sincere? But, Savage AF, um, Pedro's going to let you know about all the this, other this, stuff going on. I'm going to yeah. do some, I'm going to post this up while he yeah. let you know. It was yeah. hard, but woo! Woo! Yeah, go ahead. Bullshit. Go ahead. You, you go ahead and start pinning. And and then I'll I'll talk about the fact that we are Savage AF. Um, if anything we say on tonight's show hurts how you feel in your heart, uh, our main slogan uh, I'm sorry slogan is fuck your feelings. Okay, so fuck all of that shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm drinking tequila tonight. I'm Black Pedro. Make sure you're always following that comedian Shang. Um, Follow at Black Pedro. It is. Uh, October 7th, uh, 2020. We just saw the first and only vice presidential debate. We're doing it later tonight. We're usually on 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Tuesday through Thursdays, Mondays and Fridays, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Savage AF, that is. But uh, we, we, we held off tonight just like we did last week because uh, it was the first and only vice presidential debate. Uh, Kamala Harris, first black and South Asian woman to ever be at the t at the number two on the ticket on a major ticket uh, versus Mike Dense. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute, what did you say about me? What I want to say to the American people is I like to dance with oil on my butt while Korean men slap twenties on my most of my. Most of my pants don't have back pockets, and there's just a space <laughs> for my butt cheeks. I have Prince. I have Prince pants. I'm Mike Pence, but I like Prince pants. <laughs> Cheekless. Uh, but so we don't. We don't talk fair. about that. But all right. So, uh, so, th so that, that that's going to be the, the majority of what we do tonight, man. Because uh, there's a lot. To <laughs> it unpack. was a doozy. There's it was a lot shit. to unpack. So. They, they popped off with the uh, and and first of all, let me let me acknowledge all our peoples in the building. Uh, Miss Adverb is right on time. Thank you, me so blessed. We see you. Uh, who else? Senge Ben Yosef, yes sir. Lady Hazel, me and May. I'm sorry. Uh, pretty on the left and the right. AJ three sixty five. Saluminati. Breezy JJ's. Seba three one three. What up though? Thank you guys for joining us. Um, if you don't catch us here live on IG. Of course, you know that you can uh, catch us on iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify. Wherever right. you get, thank you. So, wherever you get your bloody podcasts, and you can catch us the video. Like if you miss us and you want to see it, on right? YouTube. You can go. And plus, you and need, you need to subscribe. Yes, yeah, subscribe. I just put up some new graphics and everything for the channel. Um, we're, you know, posted up some more stuff. So if you get the chance, make sure you check out some of the, the past shows that you might have missed. Go to 
Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to that. But make sure you subscribe to the podcast, the actual podcast, not just YouTube, the podcast, which is on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. Yep. So now that we <laughs> got that out the way, I'm going to remind you through the show. Um, El New, uh, yo, and thank said, you for buying said, the merch. Thank you for buying merch. Um, you guys, thank you so much for you know buying the, the merch. We appreciate you. Yes. El New, uh, my brody to the wody. He said uh, it was a corpse. Yeah, so at some point I was just like, you know what? There's a little bit too information, too much information. It's a little too calm for America to even be involved in this. So I'm interested to see what the numbers are going to be on ter in terms of the viewership. But they did pop off talking about the, you know, 2020, dog, what's going down, the pandemic, the virus, right? That's changed everything, right? That, like, that's the main shit that went down, right? Even beyond the, the social unrest, racial shit, cop, clandemic, that's been going on a while, but this pandemic has been the new thing this year. And uh, I don't know if you saw it, but they, they, like, Pence really tried to bounce it back to Fauci again. Like, like when, when Kamala brought up the, the reality that on January 28th, they knew how deadly it was going to be and, and didn't give a fuck. Um, Pence was like, well, we, the president said everything that Fauci said to him, which basically means that if you didn't get the information you need, it's because Fauci didn't say it to Trump. And I'm like, motherfucker, are you serious? Yes, He's like, it was, just, he was, like, it was ridiculous. We said, we said everything that Fauci said to us. And I'm like, nah, bro. Because we were, I, I, I don't know about you, but especially around March, we were watching it go back and forth. And that's why Fauci isn't present anymore. In, they, they don't even do coronavirus briefings anymore. Right. Because they don't Fauci, even mention because Fauci. Because Fauci was contradicting him, like we've been saying the whole time, with just facts, like just by saying true things. Grass is green. Trumpy Dumpy no! will be like, no, no, it's not. No, grass. it's not. No, bluegrass. Oh, uh, yeah. But you know what? It was funny watching him squirm. And then even the fly was, fly was like, uh, motherfucker, stop lying. Stop lying. There was, a, there was a fly that landed on his head. And that's when you know you're a piece of shit. And listen, yes. that fly stayed on his head for a while. I, it was later like, in the list. It, it, it listen, motherfuckers, late. you're lying. Is, you're, hey, yeah. when, you, when you go full silver fox, my nigga, like TK575, what's up? When you go silver fox full on, a black ass fly, is go, it, it looks like raisin and potato salad. Hello? It just yeah, it doesn't was fit. It just didn't fit. It did not fit, and you know but, you're because you, they love shit. The fly loves shit, and shit was coming out of his brain, out of his pores, and he was like, let me get these nutrients, because only uh, uh, there's only a few shithole animals or species or living beings that can live off of shit. Dung beetles, flies, and your ex, right? You know what I mean? Like, whoever that, your ex that's is. It. Right? And, 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 and um, uh, AJ5365 <laughs> said the fly had 10 minutes of camera time. In fact, uh, they were going to ask the Duh. fly what his stance was on racism. And he said, it's flicks. all shitty to me. Nigga, I got, <laughs> I got fly flicks. Wait till after this. I'm about to post Wait till after flicks. this. I, I was standing flicks, right there. Nigga. I heard the lies he said. <laughs> the other thing I think that was good. <laughs> it was Jeff. It was Jeff Goldblum on his head, like. Yeah. <laughs> it was. What's up, Sula? What's going on? Uh, it's Illuminati. She. I think that she. Um. She kept her cool, and I love the fact she did check him. I'm speaking. She. I'm speaking. She being. She being. I'm speaking. Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. First black woman cool. slash Southeast Asian descendant woman. Yes. To be vice president nominee for any party. She kept her cool. She kept her, kept cool. her cool. She um she kept her she, cool. She, she, she even let him she even let him have his time when he interrupted. And, he, and he interrupted cut, far more than she did. And then when they tried to moderate her, she was like, But he did take over my time, so let me you know, because he interrupted her time, then they tried to 
you know, regulate her at their tomb. And she's like, but he did interrupt. So let me get that right. Back. And, and, I and, then, my and then she gave, I first of all, let me get my, my time, time, bitch. This bitch over coming, here, like shitty flyhead, shitty flyhead knows what the fuck it is. Shitty flyhead, you know you lying, shitty flyhead. And, and the way he <laughs> talked about Trump was that, tri that fake, sincere face, like God. what we did in this country is what we always do. We lie, we hate niggers. We always have. I mean, get the fuck out of here. There was, I literally was watching it, <laughs> so, and there was a ticker a, of the book that he was saying. I know there's a fly on my head. And you know what? But I'm not going to move my face. It's my soul. It's my soul. My soul I thought Kamala was seen, came off cool. Kamala came off cool. She was more vibrant. She answered the questions. Once she dodged, I was like, oh, baby, don't dodge that. Um, but again, they're not president yet, so they can't talk about the Supreme Court and what they're going to do is pack the Supreme Court. And you say you're not going to listen to, you know, the law. Well, you already fucking stole one of the Supreme Court justices. You already stole. You you disallowed fucking Trump. I mean, Obi yeah. I mean Obama to do this shit. So <laughs> everybody knows this lady. They're trying to ram her. <laughs> they're trying to ram her in there. They're trying to yeah. ram her in there as quick as possible. Um, speaking of getting rammed, uh, Shanina take no sh uh, and that moderator was a pushover. I will say, oh. comparatively, you know, Chris Wallace as a fox head, you, you know, I didn't think he would be whatever. I thought he stood up much tougher to, because I, I will say, I will say also this, that, that I've never said that Mike Pence would be a better president or whatever. I've always actually thought he would be worse. And this is why he was more respectful in being disrespectful. Like he ran the light. He interrupted. He stayed calm. And he did that tight lit robot thing. Even though there was a fly on his head, sucking dung nutrients from his dung brain. Right. He, was, he, <laughs> he, just, he just stayed firm. Like, dog, I can feel when a fly is like near the back near me. of my like, like apparently hey, the, 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 hey, the fly like, was like I'm this, this is a shit buffet this is a shit buff buffet and I'm gonna sit here and enjoy it on national TV. The thing that I noticed like I literally um, think did, I literally think a fly yeah. would have landed on his eye and he would have just kept going like and this person what I'm trying to say and is, I response Mr. And President what we do but, is and he, when he was asked about abortion when he was asked about Roe versus Wade he started talking about the military protect saving Bro. people when in he, the Middle East. What the he, fuck is wrong with you? He dodged so many questions. It, it was he like, listen, listen, they were like, is climate change an existential threat? And, and, and I love that. Pretty clear I love, question. I, I love that Kamala Harris did this many times. Like, bounty means when somebody's going to pay to kill you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like you dumb was explaining motherfucker words. you. Right. So when we say existential, that means your ability to exist. Is climate change a threat to your ability to exist, an existential threat? Uh, he said, uh, the climate is changing, changing, but they trying to take, they trying to raise taxes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, <laughs> so, like, he was like, the climate is changing. Well, motherfucker, that's See, called he was, seasons. He that's was, called he seasons. Was so... That's called seasons. We're, not, we're yeah, talking about global warming, so obviously. And he was like, but back to the taxes. He, he used so much time to ignore the current question. And when I say he, I mean vi current Vice President Mike Dentz. Mike Dentz. He, he, he used so much of his time to ignore the current question and go back to whatever topic he wanted to harp on. And it wasn't even truthful topics was he was just, going back to. No, he, didn't, he, was just, Pedro, he didn't even go back to truthful topics. This was the wild part. He was deflecting fucking answers like Ip Man. He was just, wait, uh, that, I can't, <laughs> you can't answer that. And the fly was like, hit him, hit him. It was horrible. And the thing is, she did answer more questions than he did. She was much more direct. She was much more like detailed in her answer. And then he would just go off on tangents and like didn't have nothing to do with fucking lady asking with the moderator asked her. And the moderator started getting on my nerves <laughs> as a uh, vice president, vice president, vice Mr. president, Mr. Vice President, Mr. Vice President, Mr. Listen, vice president, AJ, vice president. AJ, fit, AJ fit, yeah, times 65 up, times said, up. and this gets to my next point. Pence was, Pence, Pence wakes up out of a coffin, walking dead ass. Like he was literally, <laughs> 
just on a message. And 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 one thing I noticed that when I took my notes is that yeah. Kamala was taking notes. Like she had a old school legal pad because she's a prosecutor. Like, like she was flipping pages. Yeah. Like she have she was using one of my favorite pens, dog. That old big joint. And she dug like she was like. No, you know what? I wanted right to look now. over her shoulder and see the pad, and, and then him say, "Look at this lying motherfucker." This <laughs> motherfucker. But, this motherfucker but, just bullshit but, ass lying ass. Oh no! But and you know what? Visually and realistically, it was a it was a stark difference where she was reacting. Um, in real time to questions and 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 uh retorts more than than Mike Pence was. Like I said, he kept going back. He was like, well let me go back to this thing. And he would completely ignore there were complete questions that he just did not even answer or address. You know what I mean? Oh like uh, he yeah, just, at the, especially at the end. Especially he, at Ro, the end. Roe v. Wade, Roe v. Wade, he did not talk about he went back to the previous topic and just relinquished that time and did not address roe v wade at all at all bro like he just bounced that time so like oh, oh that, no, that, was yeah. his, that was his mo it was like i'm gonna harp on the last thing rather than address the the real issue you know and when yeah one, and the, when they the asked him did, if you, did you check when they asked him about if by, if the president and you lose, motherfucker, if y'all both lose, you bitches, are you going to tiptoe your way out of the White House? He never answered that. He started talking about some other shit. And they and I'm looking at the fact check joint right here. Um, is uh, He's getting killed. He's getting t killed. The, um, they, 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 what they do is they do a fact check. The New York Times did a fact check in real time. And they checked him, and I'm looking at the, the, the rating here. Um, they said that uh, Kamala Harris exaggerated uh, three times, uh, but they said that, uh, that Pence was misleading and flat-out lied 60 times. Easily. 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 Oh, and wait till they run through the rest of the tape. Um, you know, it, 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 was a, uh, it was a travesty. Um, yeah, I agree with, uh, Shanina, you know, Pence, Pence did ruin this debate and he was really a, uh, she said completely different style, same trash. It, it, it was, and that, that, but that's what I've been saying. It was. Like, he, he just acquired a voice, SRNC, what's up, babe? It's like, when you, when you, like, he is the junior of it, like the, he's the contained, uh, version of this super right wing conservative wing nut religious crusade motherfuckers, right? Like right. he can he can deliver the message. Trump is all sweaty and cinnamon and orange and and, 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 and acts like he doesn't do cocaine, like, uh, but you can see he the cocaine. Will do this. He'll literally do this on stage, right? <laughs> like uh, to make fun of a, a reporter. But uh, Mike Pence will never do that. Like he will always seem like a just a guy that I go and I buy the diapers and I make sure I grocery shop and right. I have never ever ever killed a woman randomly in a gas station. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, bathroom. I've never not unless ever Trump told a human me human head. I listen. I don't have a collection of other people's teeth in the but trunk of my I do car. have. I do have a bag of dicks. In my closet. Oh, by the way, they're attached to men. So they're men. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, I say it. it was such he can, bullshit. He can totally but they ask him about like, what the. You're like, you're a sociopath, yeah. but you're good at it. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Trumpy Basically, Dumpty yeah. is a psychopath. That's not being good at sociopathy, right? Like, when you're a psychopath, you're just not good at being a sociopath. Sociopaths are good at being psychopaths. That's my thing. <laughs> like, I believe yeah. that. Sociopaths with with Mike Pence. Is, By the way, I'm gonna at, show you when they. He could totally be a psychopath. He's just like you know what? I can't rape as many uh, little baby koalas as I want to with that. So there's only one thing that he said that they said it was true that the Love air was cleaner. The air was cleaner, but other than that, 
It's all Kamala Harris. This is true. Okay. This is true. But, but the air true. would the, see. You no, know, these are cumulative effects. So the air would be cleaner because of the previous administration's policies. And as Trumpy Dumpty uh, pulls back on, you know, emissions regulations, then over the next few to ten to twenty years, you'll see a reversal of those numbers as a result. But it takes time, right? So we well, understand this administration has done a lot to repeal on environmental restrictions and regulations that would benefit uh, the environment. So um, right. that's why they were oh, restrictions. He, they, 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 you know what? I wrote a note down and I'm looking at it here. I've, I've used my computer to do watch it. Um, he also, he lied about fracking. He said that he was against fracking. And, and even Biden's old ass said, no, I wasn't. Boo, bitch, boo. I mean, yeah. it was just... It was it was so much shit that was easily fucking um, checkable. You know, you could easily check it. And I'm looking at it right now. They're saying, I mean, I'm looking at the the fact check in real life. You can look on a New York Times website, New York Times uh, of the debate, and he lied far more. So it was that calm, tight face, white people. I'm, I'm saying white people because he's the white. Even white people go, God damn, he's a white dude. Like he's super white. He's white, white. He's, he's like albinos go this motherfucker here all right. it was so, just bad it was bad but kamala harris i think was calm and um she was on point what she said pertaining to uh global warming and environment on point factual what she said pertaining to um uh, racism she did say some stuff and one thing that that resonated i want to ask you about this anyway before we did this when I was watching this, she did say that they systematically, there's this weird obsession with systematically un, uh, undoing everything that Obama had did. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so on a, on a few levels, I will say that um, just in terms of- Oh, in, publicity, in Mag, eat a dick. They um, weren't no, tied. No, no, listen, 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 don't, don't, don't address that. Don't address that. We got, we got real shit to talk about, like for real. Fucking ignore that shit tonight. What I want to say is that um, we, in in terms of like fracking, I, I was disappointed that um, you know she was like Joe Biden will not renounce fracking or, or will not ban it. Um, I, I I think I think that was a mistake for them. Uh, we talked about yesterday how. Uh, Goldman Sachs and Moody's both said that a blue wave, which would initiate a, a green movement, basically, like, like a, a movement towards wind and solar renewable energies. Um, I, I really don't understand why that, that those would be successful for the Democrats and that it would lead to victory um, and, and more jobs. And, and she did bring up the, the we talked about it yesterday, over seven 7.4 million jobs. She said over 7 million jobs more than under Trump's plan would be created under Biden. That this is true. But they, she should have leaned in harder on, on the, the Moody's and the Goldman Sachs report that she mentioned they, it, that, but she no, didn't she, but she, she only she only very passingly mentioned Moody's. Right. She should have went. And I was like, no, Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs is advising, and if, if, listen, my nigga, if we know this, if we're saying this, if you and me, comedian Shang and Black Pedro here on Instagram, Monday through Friday on IG Live are saying this, then yeah. fucking Kamala Harris and that. Sorry. Go ahead. That campaign, they, that campaign has to know that. Right, so oh, they made no. There was to, missteps. Absolutely, they have to push. She should. They have to push that hard because that, they that should have pulled a, out. She should have pulled thing. out a marker. I actually thought she should have pulled out a black marker and wrote it on the plexiglass. Go, go sack fucking Moody, bitch, better than you, and that's it. Better than you, motherfucker. Better than you. But there was some, no. She had some missteps that I thought that she could have. Dragged him through the mud and definitely, um, you know, head butted him, but she didn't. But uh, again, he did. He did do the cool interrupt. 
he did do the, the like he didn't yell and scream, but he did interrupt. He did go way over his time over and over again. And I thought the moderator was on some softy soft shit. You know, Mr. Uh, uh, VP, Mr. VP, can you please, can you please, can, can, can you stop, can you stop, can you stop? Then, hey, if you saw the shit that happened last time, why didn't you just get a button and say, you talk over two minutes, I'm cutting you the fuck off. How about that, bitch? They should have did right. that. Like, if you're doing a comedy competition, if you go over your time, you're disqualified. It's, it's right. the third time he did it, be like, okay, motherfucker, you can't run for vice president no more. You went over the time three times. We can't have you. You're disqualified. Right. But they yeah, don't yeah. do that. You, you and know and she was, the, the, yeah, the, 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 I got to give it, Wallace was a better moderator. At least he did say, I'm the one, uh, you want to debate me? He did throw in some zingers like, listen, motherfucker, we're not debating. You're debating him. Listen, don't say that shit to me again. Wait till we get off here. But now that I, now that I found out also, when they asked, you knew you had COVID, that the president had COVID, the shit that you knew and you didn't fucking address it, why wouldn't you wear masks? Well, and then he starts talking about other shit that had nothing to do with the shit they asked him. It was, a, it was another clusterfuck, but not as clusterfuckery. It was fucked up, but not super duper fucked up. And I think it was a little bit too much. There wasn't enough zingers for me from her that me and you would have known that she should have used. So, so uh, Belly Byla, uh, we always love you here, girl. You know what it is. Uh, yep, good point on GS, which is Goldman Sachs. So she had to play it safe. She didn't want to look cozy with the bank. Um, you know, I think there's a way, though, to, to play that up more and just because w what we were talking about yesterday here is that you know, these are just number guys. So they're not even playing politics, really. Like, they don't give a shit who's in office and who's doing what, right? Like, just to be not too repetitive from yesterday, but, like, if if if, if I think there's a way she could have hammered that home a little bit more without um, seeming cozy with the banks, you know what right. I mean? It, 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 but I get your point. But it, it's it's just really that, like, these are just number guys. All they do is crunch numbers. They, they, they don't, they vote, sure. But they vote on numbers. You know what I mean? Like, they're advising their clients to vote blue because it will be better for the economy. So I think that's a message she could have hammered home safely without being cozy with the banks, which, just, which, which would actually been a, a, a sort of con converse argument, which is like, I'm not cozy with the banks. For once, the banks are cozy with you, America. For once, the banks are saying, this is what will be best for all of us. You know what I mean? Like, right. Yeah. Not just, yeah. not, there might we'll be make higher, a lot of money. Some, You'll do, right, taxes. right. There's going to be some higher taxes for people who make over $400,000. Over $400,000. Oh, yeah, over $400,000. Ultimately, that plus some other co corporate incentives and, and, and you know, initiatives, uh, there, there will be a greater stimulus to the American economy. So, right. And you know what? Um, comedian Reggie uh, Williams said Fox is saying she was rude and condescending the entire debate. She was condescending because she was dealing with a fucking child, I believe. But I, I get that was. Fox is going to say whatever. Fox is a bunch oh, of lying goodness. cunts. And they all they, they you know what? We got major shit going on in fucking cities. How places are burning. They made up footage that they showed from five years ago that wasn't factual. It was about something totally different. They cut it in. So Fox, we know, is a fake. Talking about fake channel, that's a fake fucking channel. And, you know, they had, like, squirrels ski skiing instead of what's going on. So we can't listen to Fox. So I don't want to hear what the Fox has to say about it. But I think there were certain points, even though I'm reading some of the stuff they're saying here on in the New York Times review, um, was he could have went harder in the paint. I really do think, but yeah. I, but she still, to me, Pence showed himself as a sycophant, a fucking liar, um, just like Trump, but just calm liar, and that's so, just as bad. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna stick with Belly Byla for one moment. She had one job to be safe. She succeeded in that job, and I, I agree with it. She succeeded in that job. I agree with. There was a space. There was a lane. There was a rope. She had to walk. A line. She had to walk. Right, so I, I, I am not criticizing this woman at all tonight. Like, I believe she did as good a job as she could have. But right. also, I think that there was room 
for her to move, right? Like because right, and you know and, what? And she, There's she, nothing she, wrong she with her. She took certain liberties, right? Like once once she could, once he consumed some of her time and started interrupting, she she pushed back in that space, right? So that that was that that was her ability to exert herself. Um, I, I do agree that anything above and beyond that would have been. Um, or could have been misconstrued, but we're already seeing that whatever she did right now is misconstrued by the right and their, their media outlets. So um, I, I don't want to hold her to that space too much. I, I, I do want to say that I think that she had more room to flex. You know what I mean? On, on right. Certain and she didn't flex. Right. Time. She didn't flex. Right. And, and the other thing have, is, she could have dropped a little bit harder on. She could have dropped a bomb on him. Those would be more jabs. Because her tone, her tone and her demeanor was right where she needed to be. And at no point, I mean, there, there's a laughing, the smiling that is like, kind of like, this, this, you hear this one day? You know what I mean? Like, we've all been there where like, you're not really laughing or enjoying what the person's saying, but you're recognizing how ridiculous it is. Right. Um, but, I, so, so in terms of decorum, I, I think she she main, she maintained it and definitely won that because Mike Pence uh, and along with that that campaign and that that camp they broke that seal right like they are not about the time limit they're not about moving on to another subject you know what I mean they they won't let shit stand like they're gonna go backwards and then they'll ignore the current question so you know that that's what we saw tonight. And I, I think she worked well within that. Um, right. As she worked well within that. But the other thing is, I, I, again, and all you people here on Savage AF, you know, brought to you by the World Famous Laugh Factory. And make sure you check us out on the YouTube channel. I'm on the YouTube channel now. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Anybody that's new on here, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go to the YouTube channel and subscribe. It's Savage AF Podcast. All you got to do is type that into YouTube and boom, that's our page. Um, just put some pictures up, putting graphics up, putting all, a lot of new stuff up. So make sure you check it out. It's up right now. All of our, we're putting all of the video, new videos up as we go along, and you'll see them. Also, subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and SoundCloud. Now, the only thing I wanted to say was, pertaining to that, is I understand what she, she could have leaned in a little bit more, and I understand her tone was on point, and his tone was, like, weird and fly-ridden. But I'm telling you right now, I think that there was a couple of times she could have flat out said, not only you, Mike Pence, uh, Vice, Vice President Pence, but Donald Trump has consistently lied throughout this pandemic. You could have brought that up in the in the review here. Well, they're, they're even saying he was misleading and lying pertaining to the doctors telling the truth about Trump's if Trump is good or bad, if he feels good or bad, that they flat out. It says false, misleading. False, false, false. Um, you know, it's just as simple as that. You know, it's like it's like he just kept going back to shit that didn't have shit to do with shit. What's up, Eve? Eve? Eve underscore Apple in the building. She is the queen of all the, the media for us and doing the, the, the I mean, I'm working on the YouTube. She's working oh, on the YouTube. Shit. We make sure the shit popping. So you got to go check out the YouTube channel because we make it sure it's popping. We got, oh, somebody just subscribed. Thank you very much. For subscribing to Savage AF, we appreciate it. It's free, so don't give me give me that. I can't afford it. Fuck that. Go ahead and do the shit. Now, her demeanor, even though when she was saying, and you know what? When you do this, that's that means I'm surprised she didn't start sprint singing Confunction Junction. Where's your function? I mean, I'm just a bill sitting on Capitol Hill. Hey. Here's my thing with with both uh, Biden and Kamala. Uh, I love this little their, their profiles, right? Because like, cause, you know, even you know, you had a Fox News moderator uh, tonight. We had a, a, a reporter from the USA Today who were moderating these things, right? Um, and they they have to ask questions that are like, basically, like. Why have you killed so many people? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and Biden and Harris have both had several moments in these debates where it's like... Yeah. Like, they look over like, uh-huh. <laughs> They're like, yeah. Like, Kamala tonight a few times is like... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. 
She had that. Satchel I wanted her to grab right. the edge of the plexiglass. What about that motherfucker? <laughs> and just sit <laughs> back down. Like uh, Two hundred, and she kept giving the number. Two hundred and ten thousand people dead from coronavirus, and your president is not wearing masks and lied about it. What about being an example of what you're trying to tell the people and trying to say that you know he said that me and uh, uh, President uh, Excelsior Trump. That's the only thing he didn't say. Do I lick his ass and his taint? That's probably why the flies on my head. I probably got a little bit of Trump shit in my hair. Um. He actually said that they were bringing Americans together. This is the most divisive fucking president in the history of every any presidency. If he was the vice president of fucking Wendy's, he was divisive. Like it didn't not the, of the fucking he broke up, America. He, he, it was so like bad. Dave, Wendy, like Dave would have renounced his daughter. Wendy. Yeah. Oh, in fact, one of the people on this on on the um the staff that he has now, the medical staff, a, a high up. I can't remember his name. I'll look it up. He quit today. Said I can't take it no more. Uh, but the pandemic response team said I can't take it no more. These motherfuckers is full of shit. And you know, and I understand, you know, that there's people that are like, well, you know, Pence was more controlled. They always lower the bar for these fucking Republicans. They it, because he's controlled more controlled than Trump. That ain't no big fucking stretch. You know what I'm saying? That ain't no big stretch to be. I mean, I seen crackheads more in control than Trump was in that debate. Like crackheads, and they're doing the crackhead dance. <laughs> and they were more in control than that motherfucker. And listen, man. Uh, first of all, the the feed is off off the chain tonight. The comment section. We appreciate y'all, but somehow, publicity mag is maybe called Eve a dog, and Miss Adverb is getting on publicity mag about that. So we gonna see how this works. So <laughs> there are episodes within episodes. This is why you have to follow us on IG Live. Monday through Friday. Typically, we're on Mondays and Fridays, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But our audience goes so hamburger in here that I, it, you know, sometimes it's hard for me to keep up with the, the whole thing. I'm trying to think, yeah, Pedro, I'm trying to think, where did they get the the bag of dick emojis? That's where this, where you where you put a little bag of dick emojis, like, fuck y'all, bag of moats, like dick, 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 dick. Yeah. Uh, but no, I understand. Publicity Mag comes on and feels like they want to get their opinion out. We welcome all you, all you crazy motherfuckers. All, all you motherfuckers. All you motherfuckers. We, 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 we welcome you. All of you. But end of the day, I personally think her demeanor, the fact that I'm looking at what was misleading, and what wasn't misleading pertaining to the New York Times, I'll look at a couple other ones. I looked at it, two other ones. And you can say what you want, Publicity Mag or whoever else is on this feed that believes that Pence was better. You got to look at the motherfucking facts. And Kamala Harris said, listen, unlike your president last week, we're going to talk about facts, bitch. Well, let's go to the facts. And she killed him on that. She killed him on that shit. And, they, and pertaining to the economy, we have the best economy there in the world. And she said, no, you basically rolled the coattails of an economy that was already doing well. So eat a dick, Pence. Da -da 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 -da. And then she did that. But nobody saw that part. But she did this. They cut, they they cut the Pence while she was doing that. That's what yeah. they were focusing on the fly on his head. Yeah. And they said, fly, what do you think? I think it's some bullshit. That's what I think. It's some bullshit. Yeah, no, um, you know, I will, I will say this, that she, she was um, a model, a queen. You, you might not agree with all of her policies, but she remained, she, she maintained her decorum. Um, I think stayed respectfully within the bounds of the format, given, given her opponent's behavior, you know what I mean? She, she right. matched that well, but respectfully, I think, you know, there was a, and listen, as, as poorly as I think this was moderated, I think worse than the, the last one, and, and not because she was a woman, but just, she, you know, like. She let Pence go way over his fucking time. He, she let him go over his time, but she also verbally at one point acknowledged that out loud on camera live. You know what I mean? Like just like Mike Wall uh, Chris Wallace did, just like like it's you, it's not it's not us. You know what I mean? Like it, bro, it's you. 
You're the it's one you. Running. Like when you're in a relationship right. with somebody and it's right. not going good and they try to blame shit on you, go, no, 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 no. Our relationship's not working because it's you. It's, com it's, it's you, comics. bitch. As comics, as comics, we know. How many times have we seen niggas run the light, right? Like literally go way over their time because you know that they are just trying to land one more. They're just trying to land on the lap. And each attempt keeps failing. So you just keep absorbing time, absorbing time, trying to get that moment back. But ultimately, you're just disrespecting the life and the process. So I think she did a, a better job of respecting the process. And, she, and, and yes, she and definitely, time, yeah, I agree with you. And she it, did. It, it, it ultimately, I think, among us, you know, ultimately makes Pence look bad because... Yeah, you know, and you know what? And by the way, I think, Publicity Mag, you probably got a fly somewhere on your head right now. Listen, the thing is, like, just sitting there going, ah, more shit. Um, the thing is, like from, according... Said, I'm like, okay, the fly is going to be gone. And then you I'm don't like, even do like, like this. I don't give a fuck. Like if, you're right. He still be there. And I'm like, oh, the fly is comfortable in his head. Like... It don't want to move. Like when usually when you do like this with a fly, it'll be like, oh, what's going on? Like earthquake, right? Like in California, earth start moving. Whatever you land, whatever your feet are on, if it starts moving, you're like, oh shit, what's going on? Let me get the fuck out of here. This right. dude will move his head, and the fly was like, we good. This is where I belong. Yeah, but you know what? This is the um, shit I've been uh, looking for. The fact checker reporter yeah. from Linda Q. Um, I'm reading some of the stuff that I'm looking up online while we were doing this. Um, he lied more consistently. He was more misleading. She did exaggerate, but they said he was flat out lying and misleading. Um, he just continued to lie. And he said that um, Biden, he said that Biden opposed um, the, the travel ban on China. He said, no, I don't, I don't oppose it. I just think that the reason you're doing it is because it's xenophobic, it's xenophobic and hysterical. And you're trying to make an enemy that's not necessary. So that's what actually Biden said. Now, Biden, even though he's a fuddy-duddy, and I still think we should have somebody a little bit more vibrant, but I still am 100% for him. <laughs> and Kamala, Kamala was oh. on point. Kamala basically, was on point. Basically, tonight, they asked both, both vice presidential candidates uh, your president gonna die. <laughs> no matter who wins, they gonna be the oldest motherfucker ever to be elected president. Either one, 74 or 78, right? <laughs> like, Trumpy Dumpty will be 74, Biden will be 78. They were like, "What? How, how are you gonna take over? That was another thing that Mike Pence uh, fucking... Skipped over. He went backwards on that question. I'm going to be right back yeah, he did. with some props. I'll be back. Well, the end of the day, everybody, y'all know who it is. What's up, Sula? How you doing? Um, what's up, y'all? I'm going to shout out some of the people. Sula, again, Miss Ever, you're, you're a beast. Um, you know, I uh, wanted to say, the end of the day, like when you look at situations like this, right? When you look at situations where we've got to pick one side or the other side, if you look at the debate, let's go on the facts. The facts are, and I'm looking at it from various pages. Let's be, you know, I'm not going to call you motherfucker, no, eat a dick, and none of that. If we look at the clear-cut facts, clearly, out of the two of them, Kamala Harris was not, he lied consistently, often, and this is from, this is, even the Salt Lake City, Fucking poll said the same. The Salt Lake City. And that's Salt Lake City. Where you, there ain't nobody of color hardly anywhere in Salt Lake City. I've been to Salt Lake City. I was like, God damn, this is like if Get Out was doing a play every weekend. It was just, it was one. It was just horrible. Now, he, yeah, Biden definitely, it wasn't like the, the, the shitty fucking debate with Trump. But Biden... Biden and uh, Harris look better. Well, oh my it, God! It, it, it was it was a mo more of a debate, and and less of some fucking Richard Bay 
goddamn one of them 90s <laughs> goddamn talk shows. Uh, you know, what's his fucking name? Used to be mayor of Cleveland. Goddamn. Uh, Maury. I don't know. Not, not, no, no, not Maury, but before that. Uh, with the glasses. God damn it. Daytime talk show. Terrible. Terrible. Terrible show. You guys know what I'm talking about. He used to be mayor of Cleveland. Fucking. God. No, I can't. I don't know what it is. When, no, you don't. But somebody's going to shout it out. I'm, I'm going to keep watching. Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. Yeah. That's it. He said, Jerry, who's that? Usually Stacy. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy, for listening to the goddamn. You know Stacy. Stacy was at our show um at the Ice House where you said something to her. And you said and, 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 no, you did a bit, you did a bit, and her name was Stacy. Oh, her name and then Stacey. her whole crew. That hit her hurt. They, <laughs> sorry, it wasn't you, it was the other Stacy. Stacy. It was another Stacy. But no, um now yeah. now I'm looking at different ones. Now the Utah Independent. Uh, not the independent. I'm looking at just two different ones here. They said that that he won fifty to forty nine, but Cincinnati, every other one I'm looking at. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. All right, it's Ohio. Yeah, all right, I'm from Michigan. I don't give a fuck about Ohio. God damn it, they're all the same to me. It's either LeBron, Jim Brown, or get the fuck out of here. Okay, I don't give. Well, a I shit. like the clubs there. I like the comedy clubs there. I just don't like um, the the I elected officials. I love the people. It's just as a Michigander, there's a thing. Well, let me add, let's ask the people here on Savage AF and make sure that you subscribe to the podcast, um, iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and SoundCloud. Anywhere you see podcasts, Savage AF is there. Make sure you subscribe to us. That's number one. Number two, with our new YouTube page, make sure you subscribe. Go to YouTube and put Savage AF Podcast. Subscribe to the podcast right now. That way, if you miss the show, you can watch it later or watch some other information. And we're going to be posting other stuff up, too, so you will see it. It's new. But um, end of the day, who do you think won the debate from the Savage AF? Like, if we're going to say win, lose, draw, whatever the fuck, I want to see what you people think that did see the debate and let us know who you think won. And now we already know what a certain person in this feed that's getting that smoke right now is going to think, aside from your punk ass and the other people that say dumb shit like Trump 2020, by the way, I can block you, but I won't. Yeah. All right, so hands down, see? Now, this is not a racial thing, is it? You're not, you women, men shit. Let's be, I mean, factual. Now, I'm looking at the, who won the debate, the fact check. It was absolutely, positively, unequivocally, Kamala Harris. Pertaining to facts, she absolutely destroyed him. 60, it was 3 to 60. Not that clear uh, of a win for him, if you say that, Utah. But that's just your racism speaking. Um, Pence, oh, yeah, Pence chose what he answered. I, yes, yes, he oh, did, yeah. but he didn't absolutely. answer the fucking. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't. He didn't he answer didn't. the questions. <laughs> he, he would go backwards to, to give campaign spins. But would not listen. I already said like you, we saw in real time Kamala with the legal pad. I don't know what she was writing, but at least it made it look like she was taking up. She was taking notes during the opening address. I'm like, God damn, she didn't even ask the question. <laughs> like, what are you <laughs> notating right now? Shit. Right, I'm but, some uh, shit. I'm gonna say. Yeah, she was. And, and, you know, and Miss Adverb, nobody know. asked you. That's when you know a black woman uh, and Aka pretty on the left and the right. I'm, I see you uh, shouting out your star roar. Uh, but that's when you know a black woman, a prosecutor is on your ass. You take she taking notes during the goddamn uh, Rice Krispie commercial. She's like, "Well, we about to snap, crackle, and pop on this we about, yeah. policy." Yeah, yeah, I think that uh, yeah, Kamala was much. I think it's definitely the lawyer in her. I agree with you with that. But the Utah, uh, one of the Utah magazines said it was fifty to forty nine point seventy nine um, because. White people will vote for white people even when they're being shitty as fuck. We already seen that in a shitty ass president that actually tried to film a Mussolini fucking video commercial when he got off the helicopter and tore his mask off like some triumphant COVID warrior. And the motherfucker was nuts, but he was barely holding his breath in because he was having a hard time breathing. You bitch, they had to give you oxygen, you cunt. So that's a fact. 
But Kamala was, I mean, factually, fuck your and, feelings, because you know, Miss Amber was like, I don't mind Biden. I don't like Kamala. I know you don't like Kamala, but yeah. in this debate, was she did she win or not? I'm not asking whether you liked her or not. Did you like Pence more? That fly ridden piece of shit. Really? And and ultimately, no matter what, it's like uh, you know, uh what's this? Oh shit, I just saw it. Uh, Miss Unique Love. What's up, baby? Uh, I don't care for her at all that much, but she is way better for the country than Pence. And, um, you know, ultimately, I think that that's what we're looking at. Is it, That's what this debate came down to. Because uh, before I stepped away to bring some, some visual props for you guys that I'm going to show you in a minute, uh, you know, we, we were looking at which vice president do we want to be president? I mean, ultimately, uh, the, the moderator tonight, she, she brought about the, the question of, one of you motherfuckers might have to take over. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we, we're going to have the two oldest, we have the two oldest candidates ever. Whoever, whoever wins will be the oldest elected president ever. Are you ready? And, that, and that's what America needed to consider tonight is. And Kamala gave her record, gave her record basically. When they asked her that, she gave her record of the stuff she's done versus, in the Senate, yeah, in, in the in, in in government. Aside from her as a prosecutor, she gave the stuff know, that she did do. You I know, thought, I thought it was, I thought it was weird tonight. Speaking of records, that you know the the the, the Trumpy Dumpy administration and, and Pence tonight tried to bring up, or he did bring up. He didn't even try to. He did it. Uh, he brought up the H1N1 situation. Um, and while 14,000 people died, what he brought up is that as opposed to 7 million people being affected with um, coronavirus, 60 million people were infected with H1N1. Um, but that administration just got lucky. The, the Obama administration just got lucky that it wasn't as... Yo. The shit did it again. Uh, jump off, jump back on. And I'll, I'll stop here. Somebody called. I'm like, sorry about that. Uh, Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory. Pedro's going to jump back on. We'll continue on. Um, we got about, you know, 30 more minutes to, to go. I apologize for that. Um, didn't set my phone again. I don't know how to set my phone. Stop from um, different stuff going on. Um, so waiting for Pedro to jump back on, which he will. Um, shout out to everybody. What's up, comedian Reggie Williams? Um, there we go. Boom. Hopefully the sound will be right. It worked yesterday, so hopefully it worked today before yesterday. So hopefully it'll work today. Um, can, say hey. something, man, so I can hear you. Can you hear me? Low. Do it again. All right. It worked the second time. I don't, you know, I... I Use a laptop. I don't have it. I don't want to do it on a fucking laptop. All right? Fuck. I don't want to do it on a fucking laptop. You just get off my back. I don't know fuck how to do it, all right? You leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, sorry. That's just... I, I tried to sign up for it. I ain't fucking doing it. I ain't paying. It said you have to pay to get the thing on the fucking desktop. I ain't playing. <laughs> Pedro. Okay, Pedro's disappeared, but he's there, but he's not there. All right. Okay, wow. Saying that, that uh Wow, he never learned to read. Okay. See, we get people that talk shit, but it's like, no, I have a laptop. Okay, I have a laptop. The shit ain't work on a laptop. I don't know where Pedro's at. But um I think pertaining to the debate until he comes back, I don't know where he went. Uh, uh pertaining to the debate, um, I, I really think that Kamala was much more calm, and according to the fact checkers, she was much more truthful. And the other person was definitely, fi by far, much more uh, of a liar, just like fucking um, uh, Trump. Yeah, they, you know, Trump lying, tantrums. Yeah, that's very true. Okay, do you want a childlike? Okay, A B A. That's 
Ava's priority said, you don't need to love her. It's called the lesser of two evils. Do you want childlike Trump sucking his thumb and having a temper tantrum or a new president who knows your pain? No, no one who. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry that I got, I, I, I just, I'm frustrated with, there he is. Please say something so I can hear you. Hey, can you hear me? It's still low. Oh, I don't know God, what the fuck's man. going on with it. Mother shithole done nothing. And, I, I, and, and I, 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 I did what you said, and it shit didn't work. So, I, you know, you only thing you we can do is stop and jump back on, or because we got about 20 minutes left, or, you know. You can't, you can't hear me? Very, very low. Barely can hear you. All right, all right. So let's uh, let's try it one more time, I guess. You logging off? I mean, it's like it's like the whole day nobody will fucking call me, and then when I do this shit, somebody fucking calls me. Like, and what am I supposed not, to tell them? Don't call me this time, this time. No, nah, Shane. Or or, or, t or, or the motherfucking spam calls that I tried to block and it won't block. I even got an app for this shit. Sorry, 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 sorry. So people. Other people can hear me. Only I, I can't hear him. So how are we yeah. gonna have a conversation if I only <laughs> yeah, I can hear? Exactly. All right, let's just do so, sign language. How about that? So restart one more time. But yeah, there, there, there's Savage AF brought to you by World Famous Laugh Factory. We're gonna jump off and jump right back. On.